Today's North American growers are faced with a market environment that often requires them to produce a large range of products in all shapes and sizes. Unfortunately, this makes it difficult to maximize efficiency. This is the challenge that Smith Gardens faced as they looked to streamline their production and increase the efficiency of their processes. In the beautiful Willamette Valley of Aurora, Oregon, you can find one of the four Smith Gardens locations. Smith Gardens is a well-known grower who supplies plants to retailers in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Western Canada, and even Alaska. There were two key factors that led Smith Gardens to seek out automation as their solution, labor and the need for an efficient and streamlined production line. Their first step towards finding a solution was to look to those who had already turned to automation. This took them to Europe, where they visited growers utilizing automation in their production systems. Here they noticed that the average European grower was growing monocrops, which allowed them to use less versatile machinery. They knew that being a North American grower, they were going to need a North American solution. We needed to develop a system that could process their entire range of products without any idle time as the products were transported across the long greenhouses. The production solution that Smith Gardens and Bell Park Horticulture developed together involved four production lines. They each have a different purpose and capabilities which are determined by the choice of automated machines in each. Many of the products sold by Smith Gardens are planted in pots. As a result, it was decided that the first production line would start with a Meyer potting machine. Other plants grown by Smith Gardens are planted in oddly sized and shaped pots, hanging baskets, or in smaller batches. These are hand planted in a basic line built with conveyor belts ideal for hand planting and filling. There are many other types of products that need to be planted in large batches. It was decided that there would be two lines to process these large batch products so that all sizes and shapes could be accommodated for. The first line features Mr's highly flexible PC21, and the second features a PC31 Redline transplanter. It was determined that at the end of each line, there would be a watering tunnel and a Vimax wide belt. These would allow the products to be ready to be placed directly in the greenhouse after transplanting. At the end of the lines, we place two Visser spacing machines, also known as VSMs. This allows the Smith Gardens employee to quickly transport large numbers of pots. Presently, production at the Aurora Greenhouse operates much more smoothly throughout the day than they did without automation. 